Hello traders and welcome to another video. So do you think that it is possible to trade financial news release profitably? Or maybe you've tried to actually trade them, but you actually got burned. Or maybe you think it is possible and you've tried one of those strategies where you place a buy stop and a sell stop and then whichever gets triggered first, that's the one that you execute or you stick with. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a method that you can actually use to trade news right to actually trade news release obviously you won't be trading every single news release it will depend on what the actual figure comes out to be and how you interpret the figure in terms of the impact it will have on that specific what economy that will be directly impacted by those news right so that is what i'm going to show you and that is what i'm going to teach you in this video so essentially we're going to just look at the news release that we had yesterday right so yesterday we had the federal reserves uh preferred measure of inflation which is the pce inflation right so we're gonna look at that so that actually came out around this time here right so 14 30 my time or 2 30 p.m south african time so here's how you actually position yourself to trade the news and no okay let me put it this way there's two ways to actually trade the news right one is when the news actually get released so what do you do you execute your, your 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 trade based on whatever the data was so we do not trade until we have the data actually released so we do not gamble that we're gonna place a a, a trade five minutes before or maybe a a couple of seconds before the news get released no we wait until they get released we are able to i think to see what the figure is and then we are able to make informed decisions moving forward so one of the ways to do that is obviously you can get you can get a paid terminal where there's actually a, a scork scork service where you actually get news data released immediately instantly right so that that will help you for you to be able to position yourself so when the news get released you're able to whether buy or sell right depending on what the figure comes out to be that's one of the ways but the way that i'm gonna teach you today is where is the, is the is when you actually get the news released and then you wait until price looking at a technical chart until price gets to a certain level if it's if it, if you feel that it's negative for that specific economy then you wait for price to get to a level of what a level of supply and then you look to sell based on that right so this is what I, that is the way that i'll be showing you today right because that is how i trade news release right but the key thing is that we do not trade until the news has the news have actually been released right and we and we can clearly see what the figure is and the impact it's going to have on the markets moving forward because at the end of the day the markets move based on future expectations right so this is uh this is a uh, us 500 right so i'm going to show you in us 500 so essentially the news got released within this hour can within this one hour candle but the key thing is that if if you are if you you essentially if you are looking to sell then we need a supply level on the one hour if we're looking to buy we need a demand level on the one hour that's just the summarized version of it right so essentially all we had to do is identify this supply level here right and then obviously when the when the when the news data came out as you can see now the key thing is to be able to get good at him at interpreting the data right so that's another thing you need to get good at interpreting the data so what what happened the data came out the personal income was unchanged personal spending was changed which was good it went lower so that is means that that is uh it it, it it's not inflationary so it does not mean that inflation would push higher right or it would contribute immensely to inflation pushing higher obviously it's just one reading but that is the key takeaway from it so that would be dollar negative right then we look at the core pce month over month that dropped from 0 0.3 it was expected to be 0 0.3 dropped to 0 0.2 so that is what that is also negative for the dollar right because it means that inflationary pressures are easing or on a month over month basis right so that was also negative for the dollar and that that resulted in a what that resulted in this initial positive or ne positive reaction in what in the s p 500 but then if you look at the other data so to a certain extent we can say the data was a bit mixed but if we now look at the headline measures right if we look at the at the core pce it act it has actually stabilized at 2.8 so it has been dropping all along and then it has stabilized at 2.8 so for the past three months 
it has been sitting at 2.8 which is not a good thing because remember once we have three data points uh, telling us the same thing then probably a trend has been established but in this case what we can gather from this is the fact that core PCE the disinflation trend has either lost momentum or it has completely stopped and it has the potential to rebound because it, ha it has essentially just stopped, paused for three consecutive months right so now that is the risk that it there is a risk of that that actually because you can clearly see if you look from left to right it has been falling smoothly and then all of a sudden it has now bottomed at 2.8 which is still above their two percent target it's close but it's still above right so this is showing what sticky inflation higher 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 inflation or inflationary increases that are actually sticky right so those are one of the two things either the the momentum has died out or maybe the it's getting ready or the trend is getting ready to either bounce up not to say reverse and then inflation will pick up but those that that is how i interpreted the data right so we had so this will obviously not be negative for the dollar in the sense that it will be negative for equities because now it 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 because at the end of the day we need to remember that the federal reserve they trying to gain greater confidence that inflation is falling so now the question you should always ask is is the data that i'm getting today going to actually help the fed gain get greater confidence that inflation is, is falling and then if we answer that question based on this the simple answer is no this is not going to give them confidence if it was con if it continued to decline that was definitely going to give them greater confidence right and then obviously if we look at the month and the cost uh, like the the month over month that we looked at earlier and then the personal uh, the consumer spending those those two actually give the fed greater confidence okay we now inflation is moving in the right direction consumer spending is also moving in the right direction right so those two do give the fed confidence but this particular figure does not give the fed what greater confidence so now let us look at the the actual headline uh so let's look at uh, pce price index here over here so as you can see for the for the because that is the core so this is the headline so as you can see it dropped to 2.5 bottomed out at 2.5 for two months then it shot up to 2.7 and seems to have stabilized at 2.7 as well so if you're asking the very same question does these do does does the actual pce price index uh, give the fed greater confidence that inflation is falling towards the two percent target no the answer is no so we have two data points that are that are giving the fed some confidence that inflation is headed in the right direction which is lower but if we look at the two um, the headline as well as the core PCE uh, indexes they're actually not giving the Fed greater confid confidence because they essentially showing signs of weakness in the momentum or in the downward momentum right because you can see it was also falling since September 2023 it had been falling beautifully stabilized or bottomed out at 2.5 then now it has jumped up to 2.7 now it has also stabilized at 2.7 so now the risks are will it also jump up maybe to three percent and then stabilize at three percent or maybe will it fall right so that gives increases the uncertainty and that obviously does not what does not give the fed greater confidence that inflation is falling so that was my conclusion that okay the data is mixed but if i'm looking at these two headline figures it definitely does not give the the, the fed greater confidence that right that inflation is falling so let us also go into the onto the core pce uh month over month that we looked at uh of course should be up here so call pce month over month and let us let us look at the trend of it right so let us look at the trend of it right so as you can see the month over month has been clearly falling which is good so it means that it is giving the fed greater confidence like i said earlier so the other two data points are negative for the dollar but the other two data points i wouldn't say necessarily bullish for the dollar but they do not give the fed greater confidence which means that interest rate cuts have the potential to be pushed out further into the future so that is that is essentially what i concluded there right and then now going back when when the price push was pushing higher because the the data came out at uh at half past two right so this is when we got the data released right so when the market was pushing up and i was looking at the data all that i'm explaining to you now i had to do it in real time really quick right of course i've gotten good at, at interpreting the data so what happened when when the market got here and that was the conclusion i came to what did i do i i sold uh as an us 500 because i viewed it as the fact that this is not gonna be supportive of interest rate cuts to be 
uh, to be brought closer but rather to be pushed further into the future or increase it increases the uncertainty of interest rate cuts in the US right so that is that was how I viewed it right and then of course I went uh, I actually went uh, short here and then obviously simple when it comes to take profits because remember this is based on news it's not it, it the catalyst behind it is actually a news a news release it's not that you're just taking a position as a swing trade no this this is predominantly based on news and like i said this strategy is what i use to trade the news release right especially those major ones right so then obviously from the high to the low you're gonna use your your fib right so in this case i'm gonna use it invertedly because i also want to use the fib extensions right and then obviously your negative 27 or 1.27 uh, to target that it will be your first target. So that is where you aim to take profits, right? So this is essentially how you approach the news, right? And then obviously on gold as well Well, I did not take gold, but it's also the same the same story, right? When when you get the news release, so this was 1430. So this is when the news actually get got released. Let's go back to the one hour time frame You look for what you look for a level of supply if you've identified like i've just yes i explained it to you but if you've identified sorry identified in real time that the data is actually more mixed but it's more leaning towards not supporting or giving the fed greater confidence then obviously that is not going to be positive for risk assets right based on the actual data release so this was the this was the actual what the actual supply that we have here as you can see this up candle before this down before this bearish engulfing that's how i identify supply it needs to have a bearish engulfing uh so this was a sub one hour supply level right and then what happened after the release price pushed up tapped into this level and then it started selling off right so that is essentially how i trade the news and i've traded yeah this is essentially how i trade the news right essentially all news release this is how i approach them but of course if it all depends on how you are good at interpreting the data and how you can react in real time right so for me this is more more of a safer strategy or a better strategy because i'm not guessing I, i'm not gonna place a as prices but uh as prices just moving range bound here i place a, a sell a buy stop and a sell stop at the bottom and then whichever gets triggered if it works for you it works for you but for me i found that this is more sustainable and this is more repetitive this is a process that you can continually repeat and obviously if the market does not do what you're expecting it to do then it means that that is not your trade right so that is how you need to approach it that is how you need to uh, actually get good at trading the news release so let me know in the comments if uh, this made sense to you uh, if you have any questions based on this also let me know in the comments and of course i'll be uh, more than happy to actually answer your, your questions right but this is how i trade the news and if you actually been fearful of trading the news give this a try right of course firstly try it out on your on your own and then gain confidence that it actually works for you because i know it works for me it works for the people in my team i've also shared it with them so it definitely got, it's definitely gonna work for you and all that i've just explained to you here all that i've just explained to you here i actually explained it in 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 the in the, in, in the actual free telegram group right so click the link the first link below to actually join that free telegram group where you'll be obviously be getting fundamental uh updates throughout the day uh because i trade using fundamentals so that is what i'm gonna give i'm gonna give you updates on right so click the first link at the bottom to join the group and i'll see you inside the group